Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. A while back I did a video testing Cracky versus DWC and it's been a while since I did that video so it's time to do it one more time. And as always, I'm not an expert in hydroponic and I'm not an expert in these uh, testings and all that stuff so many factors will be left out. Uh, the purpose of this video is basically just for entertainment. I want to know uh, exactly uh, which method works best for me and also uh, I learned a lot from conducting these tests. So again, um, uh, there's always going to be something missing so uh, many people suggest that we do tests multiple times and re repeat the experiment so this is exactly what we're doing. But uh, instead of using those uh, small one gallon containers like these here that I used in the past video, I'm going to use a five gallon bucket and I'm going to grow three plants in each. So you see that I have those holes already drilled. So there's the other one. So they're exactly the same bucket, same setup and everything. So one, I'm going to add air, which is the DWC, and the other one is going to be the non-circulating cracky hydroponic. So let's go ahead and start our seedlings. I'm going to start uh, eight seedlings and we're going to pick the best and put in both of these. So the lettuce I'm using in this experiment is going to be salad bowl lettuce. I love growing these things. I love eating them and they look gorgeous. So while I'm doing the test, might as well grow something I like. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they look like so you can see. And then we'll come back and uh, begin the seedlings. Okay, thought I'd show you what the lettuce look like in the meantime while you wait for the experiment to begin. These are the lettuce. They are absolutely gorgeous. You see these here? I, I just love them. So this is the, uh, the subjects to our experiment. So uh, let's go ahead and put some seeds in the rock wool. Okay, as usual, nothing special. I'm using just regular rock wool, one and a half inch, and I poke holes at the top so I can drop the seeds in. And we are going to put a few seeds per pocket, that way uh, something will sprout and then we'll thin them out when they're ready. And the water I'm using in this uh, bucket or container is just normal water out of my faucet, so nothing special. So let's go ahead and place some seeds in there. Here we are. These are the seeds I gather from my garden, so I'm going to just randomly pick two to three seeds. Okay, some of these may have more than two to three seeds. I, they're just so small, I just grab them randomly. So we'll see what will come out of these. Okay, and then we'll put the lid on top and then we'll put this under a grow light. We'll check back in about maybe two weeks or whenever they're ready. Okay, it has been exactly nine days now and the plants are pretty much ready. Uh, normally, I would wait a little bit longer before I put them into the unit, but because I will be busy for the next week, so I thought I'll go ahead and begin the experiment. So as you can see, uh, all of the um, rock wool have uh, lettuce and pretty much around the same size. Some of these have multiple, so we're going to pull them out and leave only one. So we're going to pick one that are most similar to the other. That way we can have sort of like an even uh, plant to do our experiment. So let's go ahead and pull these out. Uh, if you do this gently, you can actually grow the plant somewhere else. And I do have plan to do this. Just gently remove it. And if you have, if you get a little bit of the root down there, they will live. Okay, here we are. We have just uh, eight plants. But all we're going to do is use six. So I'll choose six of the ones that are most uh, closely uh, in the same size. Okay. So 
Let's go ahead and begin our experiment. And as always, we're going to have one that will have an air unit and one without. Uh, I'm trying to control as much as possible uh, certain factors. So uh, the amount of nutrients are going to be the same and the water is going to be the same. So uh, those are the two things that I can control. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so first what we're going to do is uh, place the rock wool into these net cups. So let's go ahead and select our plants. These are very similar in size. And you can see there's some root at the bottom. Uh, when you see root at the bottom like that, that is the best time to uh, start your experiment or start your grow. And then I have two left. I'm going to also grow uh, a few plants next to these experiments just for fun. Okay, what we're going to do first is add nutrients to here. That way when we add our water, it can mix up nicely. And what I'm going to use is the Arrow Garden Nutrients because it's very simple and I've done and I've used these before and it works great. So all I'm going to do is add five milliliter, five times for five gallon and then add water and that's it. No pH, no nothing. So that's how we're going to conduct our tests. So for the nutrients, this is a, this is a one teaspoon, which is five milliliter. So I'm just going to add that five times to both bucket. And I'm going to try to make it uh, as even as possible. So one squeeze, and that's one, two, three, four. five that's one bucket and then here's the other one Okay, so both uh, buckets have the nutrients in there. So this is going to be the one with the air stone. So the easiest way for me to do this is to always have a test. So you put the test in there, you fill the water up, and then you make sure that the water touches the bottom of the net cups, and then you're all set. So here's how I'm going to do it. Okay, and this is water right straight out of my garden. So. You see, when you add water like this, it mixes everything up nicely. So uh, there's no need to mix uh, after the fact. So do this is the best way for, uh, that I found to do it. Okay, so now you have your air stone in there and you can close the lid now. And because we have a little subject here, so you can just fill it up. Okay, we are done with our first bucket. You see the, the water touches up the bottom of this neck cup it could be slightly above and that is fine so now all we have to do is take our plants and then drop it in here and i'm just randomly picking plants to put in there okay this is the dwc it's all done and ready to go um eventually you can also put these pebbles here and uh, this is basically to prevent algae from growing on top of uh, the rock wall but you see how small the plant is you can't put too much so I usually wait a little bit longer until the the leaves go above the rock wall and then I would put it around like that so 
so the next update you will see these pebbles there okay so we'll slide this out of the way and then we'll do the next one So here's the uh, the cracky one. Put our test in here. Hey, this one is also ready. So the water touches the bottom of my neck cup. And now we just take our plant and then put it in there. Okay, I have two extras. So what I'm going to do is use the other containers, uh, the smaller ones. That way we have two uh, tests side by side and it's, it's easier for us to, to see how, how they change. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in their place and then get everything set up and ready to go. Okay, we are ready to begin the experiment. So I have a five gallon there running on DWC and then that one there is cracky. And then I have a one gallon which we've done the test before. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'm sure a lot of people are very interested. So there are a few factors that I change. So I use the different nutrients and I did not pH this time. So I guess this is easier to control because it's just really simple. Water and nutrients and everything else is pretty much the same. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look so you can see. Uh, I took a lot of suggestions that people uh, posted in the past. So they suggested that I use an air stone, which I did. So uh, there's an air stone in there. The bubbles is a... Uh, pretty good I guess it, it, it looks very uh, big because the container is very small so that's the reason and then the cracky here is just nothing's happening no circulation and then here this is the cracky method and there it is it's very nice and quiet and then for the DWC you see there's some bubble action right there so everything is going great and these are the air tube that is leading to the air pump there so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in place and then I'm gonna put this to maximum output because right now it is on dim you see 20% because if you work under these unit you're gonna have to dim it so uh, any light with that with a dimming function is ideal it is one of the best option you can get okay and also most plants don't need full capacity right away so that's also a good option okay so let's go ahead and move this in their place okay here we are everything is all set up and ready to go so i'm going to sit back relax and just watch it so i will come back periodically and update as i see changes so that is exactly how they're going to stay dwc on both sides and cracky on both sides so the plants are very much about exactly the same. This is as much as I can control. And I notice the pebbles, as I mentioned, I would put pebbles there as the plant grow. And then that's the one gallon. So we will be back soon. Okay, it has been six days now and there is some progress on the plants. So as you can see, they have grown a good amount so let's take a closer look on this side here is the cracky non-circulating method and on this side here is the DWC method and for the one gallon I can see that the cracky is growing faster than the DWC and I think because the container is small and we have an air stone in there and I think there may be more disturbance you see you see the water flow right there there's air being pumped to the roots and sometimes uh, too much oxygen moving like that could cause uh, the plant to grow a little slower because there's kind of like disturbance down there whereas this one here is completely still you see so 
even the roots are even longer you see that so the roots on this one here are longer than the one on here you see there's only a few strain and I think that could be because of uh, the bubbles and the disturbance in the water maybe I'm not sure and then here the bigger buckets uh, there is a little difference. The Cracky is growing faster, slightly, than the DWC. And let's check the roots. Uh, oh yeah, notice the pebbles, and I did mention that I will put the pebbles there. And those are just for um, preventing algae from growing onto the rock wall. I mean, yeah, on top of the rock wall. So there, we have a good root development. And the water is very still and everything is still good and then for the DWC so this one's smaller so let's take the bigger one and see the root development on this wow you see there is a big difference here so with air it seems like it didn't help much as far as growing lettuce so uh, we'll keep it going and see it's only been six days so far so it's really hard to tell so we'll be back soon okay we are on day number 12 and everything is coming along nicely the lettuce plants are looking beautiful and let's see if there is a difference and of course the one gallon this one is lagging behind a little bit this one's growing nicely and then the larger buckets I think they are about the same see that one's quite big over there and about the same size as these over here so let's take a look at the roots and see what's going on down there okay we're gonna have to be very careful because if we damage the roots that could set the plant back and that would not be good for the test look at that so the roots are looking good on these you see the fuzzes those are the air roots and in the bottom here those are the water roots so there is a little difference in the way they look okay let's take a look at the DWC this one's growing very well how are the roots looking okay look at that there is a little bit of a difference and the the cracky method which is the non-circulating it sort of forced the roots to come out a little bit more and you can see there's a little bit more air roots on the cracking method than the DWC because I guess that's because um, they don't have to grow those roots to breathe because um, these here can pick up the root the, the oxygen from the water so that could be the reason okay let's put them back and take a look one more time everything is about the same so we'll check back in a week or so okay today we are on day number 18 and we are starting to see some differences in their growth for the smaller buckets it's always the same the the cracky has been performing much better and uh, as i mentioned i think there's something in the uh, the bubbles that is disturbing the water causing the roots to kind of grow slower so um, this one remains smaller than the cracky so for the larger buckets they look very much the same but i think the dwc kind of have a few taller uh, leaves there kind of fuller very difficult to tell but uh, if you look at from the top you can kind of can see it and another difference is that the cracky plants are greener then these these seem to be a little bit lighter and the same goes for the the smaller container you can see there this one here is darker and these are lighter so again there is another look at it see how it's lighter and kind of go, goes darker there and then another difference that I noticed is in the roots so let's take a closer look so you can see the difference in in the root system okay I'm gonna try to open them at the same time that way you can have a good visual
Look at that. So you can see um, the the cracky method. It has um, sort of like more of those fuzzy roots because the initially it needed those roots to breathe. So as the water dropped, the roots will grow further down to try to collect the resources. Uh, same with the DWC, but DWC will always grow long roots immediately. Uh, I guess because it has oxygen, so all they have to do is grow down. It doesn't have to grow wide to get uh, the, the oxygen that it needs. So I think the, the cracky method, they, the, the roots are being forced into uh, creating more roots because the fuzzy roots, which is the air roots, are for breathing and the uh, the bottom root which are in the water those are water roots so that's where it gets nutrients so um the dwc you see they're they're kind of longer and less of the fuzzes so i'll show you a closer up so you can see okay we'll start with the cracky method you see how the the roots are much wider and then uh, initially they have a lot of roots up here and there are a lot of lots of fuzzes and those are the air roots and I guess they it, it kind of die back a little bit but new ones are being formed so those fuzzy roots are the the air and then the water roots uh, it, it doesn't go deep because I guess deep into the bucket is uh, uh, there's not enough oxygen down there so they kind of grow a little shallow to kind of like stay at the top just enough into the water to get nutrients but mostly just like towards the surface level um, that's where the oxygen uh, are, is located so that's probably why and then for the DWC method oxygen is available all throughout the buckets because of the air being pumped into it you see that so the roots can go all the way down there and still get access to oxygen so you, you notice the roots are, are much more uh, focused inside the buckets as opposed to floating or, or you know, to the, near the shallow parts. So that is a huge difference there. Okay, so uh, again, here is a look. We will be back in another week or so and check on the progress. All right, welcome back. We are now on day 22 after transplanting. And the total time with starting seeds and everything to this point has been 32 days. So we are going to conclude the experiment today. And the plants are just beautiful. So from looking at it right now, I cannot really tell which one grows better. Uh, a few days ago, I thought that one did a little bit better but then a few days later they kind of caught up and now they're looking very much the same size and of course except for this small containers here uh, that dwc seems to be uh dragging along and growing a little bit slower than this one here uh, this is a little a little bit fuller than that and i think it's because uh, there's disturbance in the water when the plants was young and um, the, the container is just too small to have an air. Uh, you know that much amount of uh, disturbance in there and I think that is what's causing the problem so uh, back to the experiment number one if you uh, watched it before uh, I think it did the same thing the DWC grew a little bit slower and I think because we repeated the experiment I I'm very certain that that was the case so um, there it is guys uh, DWC on this side cracky on this side and they are just beautiful and they're looking very much the same so i really can't tell uh, which one does better so the, what that means is you don't need to uh, spend the extra money to get a pump and uh, you know potentially having to pay more for uh, you know electricity just to get the pump working while the cracky is doing about the same so when you grow lettuce in inside in uh, buckets like this there is really no need for an additional equipment when um, you know you can do it just fine without so that is my conclusion so now we are going to go and take a look at the roots and all that stuff uh, just in case I I forgot if I've shown the light before but there it is right there that is the spider farmer uh, the SF 4000 okay so now we are going to lift these guys up so you can see 
uh, the root development and if there's anything different down there. Okay, we are going to start with the uh, smaller containers and let's take a look. So there it is, the root in the DWC. Uh, there's a little bit algae development there at the top because of course it, the lid is red so there is some light penetration. So anytime that happens, you're going to get algae. Okay, and then take a look at this one. Wow, you see the root difference? So the, the cracky kind of grow uh, in, a, in a circular form and it, it sort of like uh, grow near the surface because remember this is non-circulated method. So there is no oxygen in the water. So the roots have to hover above, uh, not above, but near the, the surface of the water in order to collect the oxygen it needs. And you can tell uh, there's more roots because they have to have two types of roots one to breathe and then one to uh, take in the water and the nutrients and um, I think the cracky drank more water than the DWC so there the level is a little bit higher uh, on the DWC and of course I think that's due to the plant being a little bit smaller also so uh, wow that is a a really good uh, display of difference uh, in the way they grow or they grow Okay, so let's put this back. This thing is basically <laughs> fit into the container while this one is just growing down further. So DWC will have longer roots because oxygen can be found towards the bottom. And this one here, oxygen can only be found towards the top, the surface of the water. So the roots kind of form that way. And the lettuce is just beautiful. Okay, so we'll move this out of the way. Okay, now let's take a look at the larger buckets. There is the DWC right there. And uh, we have good root development. There is no algae because the lid is black. So it's hard for light to get through. So you get good uh, amount of uh, healthy roots. Kind of long roots just like what we saw with the smaller bucket. Okay, now is the cracky method. Wow, you see that? So it, it kind of grow in kind of like a dish form, very circular. And of course, again, it's, it's towards the surface. You know, there's not long roots, just like the DWC. It, it, it grows shorter, but it wraps around the surface because that's where the oxygen is found. So that is the, the difference there. Look at this, it, it kind of like fit around the container in that shape. Whereas this one is not, it just grows down further into the, into the reservoir. And in this case here, the, the water level is, the cracky is also a little less. So it, not much less, but it, it's a little less. So I'm going to take you closer so that you can see the level. That way you can have, uh, you know, a visual. So let's take a, a look. Okay, so there is the level right there. So you can see there's a lot of water left, more than half of the, of the container. So uh, you can actually grow more plants than just three. Uh, as I mentioned, oh, I'm not sure if I did or not, but one gallon per plant is enough so this is a five gallon you can actually grow five plants but because the the container probably cannot fit five so that's why we do three okay so here is the cracky still a lot of water left as well so it's gonna be able to use this for a while so now i can start harvesting leaves to use and i'll just leave it there and let them grow and i'll have lettuce for a very long time Okay, so we'll take a look at the, the smaller container as well. You can see there's a lot of uh, water nutrients left. And this one, a little bit less water, but still a, a good amount left. 
and look at there's not much algae in on this one very strange same container same amount of light sitting at the same spot pretty much but no algae very odd okay i hope you like that experiment and uh, we are going to end it here and uh, this is a really uh, good thing to do during the the winter months there there's if you have space of course uh, grow some lettuce grow some other vegetable they don't take that long 30 days usually and then you have plant to use thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments or uh, suggestion please leave it below and thank you so much for watching